some cisterns. Uh, the uh, the walls of this unit, which houses uh, four people in eight different units, are set on foundation tires. The middle is uh, set up to receive uh, five cisterns of the type that are already available in Haiti, and they will all the roofs will drain into this and collect the water. This is circled by a ring wall made of bottle bricks. Uh, gathered from the streets of Port-au-Prince and uh, they're laid in cement and made by the Haitian people and then uh, plaster goes over all the tires and the plumbing fixtures go in uh, uh, a set of shower water and toilet for each group of four that is enclosed in another layer of bottle bricks uh, plastic bottle bricks made by the Haitians and then uh, a birdcage vault structure goes over that and anchors into the tire radial walls. This is then covered with a layer of cement plaster creating uh, ferro-cement vaults. And these vaults are then covered with insulation which is made from cardboard and styrofoam collected from the streets of Port-au-Prince and put in bags and layered over the vaults and then another layer of plaster is covering over that with uh, another ring of bottle plastic bottle walls uh, to totally enclose a structure with eight units housing about four people each. We develop a little uh, swollen yard space out in front of each one and put in a solar oven to decrease the use of uh, wood burning for uh, and charcoal for cooking. And then the spaces in between these outdoor spaces are actually the botanical cells that are rubber-lined uh, cells that contain the gray and black water, and they uh, support a tremendous amount of jungle plant life, and that ends up doing uh, a privacy and landscaping situation uh, around each at outdoor space. and and totally finalizing each unit with landscaping, which is actually sewage treatment, contained sewage treatment. So this is just a few glimpses of what these, uh, the character of these spaces would be. And they are uh, really put together. There's the, the uh, elements of this situation, the floor plan, the birdcage structure with this, uh, over the cisterns, and the plaster and the insulation and the final. Uh, these are all skills that we have already taught uh, some of the Haitian people already and they've already illustrated that they can do it. Now this is a plan of a basic compound of eight units housing four people each. 32 person compound uh, can be done in a 70 foot diameter uh, space and we're saying that this is a cellular development of many of these compounds being replicated. So you take eight of these 32 people compounds and put them together with a common space in the middle and you have housed 260 people with all uh, facilities and 256 people with a common space in the middle made of eight of these 32 person uh, compounds all able to be replicated. Now we take these 256 uh, person compounds and put them together in groups of eight and we are housing 2,048 people all based on one cellular module compound that houses 32 people that can be replicated. We take this into the village uh, situation and we are talking thousands of people being housed in a replicable uh, format that we already know the Haitians can do. We just need to launch this in terms of land and funding.